All right, everybody, this is Ross. And in today's video, I would like to teach you guys how to pick a honeyberry. And that's kind of the biggest problem with the fruit is that so many people who are new to the fruit and really probably most of you guys watching right now are relatively new to the fruit. There's a learning curve that has to happen and that we have to learn exactly when to harvest each and everything we grow. I mean, if you took corn as an example and you grew corn, well, you kind of have to wait and know when to pick the corn, otherwise it won't be sweet or maybe it'll be very starchy. So the same thing is, it's no different with this honeyberry in that we really have to wait exactly at the right moment to pick these berries. Now, a lot of you guys probably think uh, that when the berry turns blue, well, then it's ripe. And that's usually, unfortunately, a great visual indicator that we often see with a lot of the fruits that we grow. Like when the mulberry is ripe, it turns fully black or it turns the color of mulberry that it is and typically loses those off colors that indicate that it's a little bit underripe. With the honeyberry, it turns blue, very dark blue, like a blueberry, rather quickly. But from that point, you often need about two weeks or so, even longer. This bush here has been blue for almost three weeks and they're still relatively firm on the bush. So we need to wait a considerable amount of time and that the color really is not a great indicator of when we pick these fruits. The next thing you might think of is, well, when we go to our bush here and we find our fruits, we may be able to do a little bit of a shaking. And sometimes the, the berries can come right off and that's often what people think as to is actually when the indicator of ripeness is when they fall right off the bush. Sometimes, however, they come off the bush and they're prematurely dropped. They prematurely came off the bush and they really didn't ripen properly, especially for our younger plants, our unhealthy plants, maybe the plants that aren't as established. This happens all the time. And even sometimes certain varieties do this way more often than other varieties. Additionally, sometimes we can go over here and even lightly touch our honeyberries and sometimes they'll come right off. We don't even need to tug on them but certainly if I tug on them, if they don't come off at that point, they're definitely not ready to be picked. But if sometimes you can very lightly touch them, they'll come right off into your hands. And that to me is a good sign that it is relatively ripe or on its way to being ripe. But what's even better is because at that point, we're still not seeing the sweetness levels that we should. And although many of us think, all right, it's blue, it's coming right off the bush, it should be ripe. But in reality, in my mind, as I show you guys some of these berries that I picked, we still have a little bit of time left to go. And what we're really looking for is something that's rather soft. So this is a berry here that's really sized up well. And that's kind of what you see with these berries is that as they get more and more ripe, they expand to a larger size. This one here is a little bit small and it's also very firm, and it's also missing a little bit of that coloration that we want. So they'll size up, and as they size up, they become easier to pick off the bush, like this one here, it's sized up, came right off the bush, but it's still rather firm. And I know that if I eat this, it's still gonna be very acidic, very tart, and just in general, not the sweetness level that a lot of us desire in our foods, especially our fruits. So what we really want is something that's a bit wrinkled, that almost looks like it's slightly shriveling or drying on the tree or on the bush, and that they're very, very soft. And if I were to kind of squeeze this, it's almost like a, a little bit of like a hot air balloon or a balloon, right? It has a lot of give and it almost seems a bit hollow. This is exactly the state of ripeness that we want because when I eat this, that's really sweet. Um, it's on the level of sweetness actually of a blueberry and it still has the nice part about it. It still has all of the complexity, all that tartness, all that acidity and all that awesome berry flavor, but with these actual sweetness that we desire. So I think that's really been the lesson for me and not just, not just for me, but hopefully for you guys as well, that when we pick our honeyberries, that's really what we're concerned with here. Trying to get these berries off the bush at the right time. And if we can't do that, 
we can't really accurately judge these particular berries. It's, it's almost a little bit unfair. So that's my lesson here, guys. <coughs> I hope you learned something. I hope when you guys pick your honey berries, you also will uh, have good success and taste really what a honey berry should taste like. It's actually one of my favorite fruits. And for me, I highly, highly recommend that you guys grow this. But again, that learning curve is something that we all have. And uh, hopefully this helps. So thank you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you guys for the next one. Take care. We'll see you all soon.